Welcome to The Explainer. So there's some incredible news making waves right now. Reports that China might be putting a high energy laser on its brand new stealth fighter. Today, we're gonna break down what's real and what might just be hype. Okay, let's just dive right into this because what we're talking about here is something straight out of science fiction, but it's not a movie anymore. It's at the very center of a massive debate about geopolitics and the future of military tech. So China recently showed off this incredibly powerful new laser system. And now the reports are suggesting a truly startling plan. They want to mount this thing on their most advanced stealth fighter. Now this system, it's called the LY-1, is a type of directed energy weapon, or DEW. Think lasers, not bullets. And pairing a weapon like this with their top tier J-35A fighter jet, well, that isn't just a minor upgrade. Sources are saying this could be a seismic shift in how air combat is fought. All right, so what are we actually talking about here? There are two key pieces of technology at the heart of this whole story. Let's break them down, starting with the aircraft itself. So the jet is the Shenyang J-35A. It's a fifth generation stealth fighter. And yeah, it gets compared to the US F-35 all the time. But it's got a twin engine design and it seems to be positioned as a more cost-effective partner to China's bigger, heavier J-20 fighter. And now for the weapon, the LY-1 laser. China's claiming some pretty beefy numbers, talking about a power output somewhere in the 100 to 150 kilowatt range. But you know what the real headline grabber is? It's this special gas-based cooling system they've apparently developed. They claim it allows the laser to fire indefinitely. I mean, if that's true, that's a massive, massive breakthrough. So let's just imagine for a second that this technology actually works as advertised. The impact this would have on air combat? It would be nothing short of revolutionary. You see, a laser has advantages that a normal missile just can't compete with. You're looking at basically unlimited ammo, as long as you have power. You're engaging a target at the speed of light, so there's no travel time. And the weapon is totally immune to things like flares and decoys. And this is a really crucial point. The cost. A modern air-to-air -air missile, something like China's own PL-15E, can run you about a million dollars. Per shot. A laser shot, on the other hand, it costs a tiny, tiny fraction of that. We're basically talking about the price of the electricity needed to fire it. This one thing could fundamentally change the entire economic model of warfare. And that points to this huge tactical shift. Think about it. A fighter jet can only fire its cannon for, what, a few seconds? But a laser could, in theory, engage targets instantly and just keep on firing. That could make a pilot's skill at outmaneuvering an enemy way less important than it is today. Okay, so hearing about this really ambitious program from China, it naturally brings up a pretty critical question. Where does the United States stand in all this? Is there a new arms race brewing? Well, if you look at them side by side, you can see a really clear difference in their approach. China is apparently going for full integration right onto its newest fighter, and they're talking about deployment as early as 2026 or 27. The U.S. program, called SHIELD, is still very much an experimental demonstrator, and it's designed as a pod you'd attach to older fighters. There's no firm date for it to be operational. And when we talk about pure power, the claimed output for China's LY-1 is way higher than the U.S. Navy's operational Helio system. Now, and this is crucial, we have to remember that these numbers from China are completely unverified. The reason U.S. progress has seemed a bit slower is because of some absolutely massive technical challenges. I mean, how do you generate enough power? And then how do you manage the insane amount of heat coming off a laser on a compact single engine jet like the F-35? It's a really, really tough engineering problem to solve. So let's try to bring this all together. You've got the incredible hype on one side, but on the other, you have the cold, hard reality of the immense engineering challenges that are involved here. To successfully stick a laser on a fighter jet, you basically have to solve four huge interconnected problems. You need the power supply, you have to make the whole system small and light enough to fit, you've got to deal with all that heat, and you have to seamlessly integrate it with the jet's targeting sensors. It's a tall order. And this brings us right to the central debate. Is this a real, honest-to-goodness technological leap that puts the U.S. on the back foot? Or is this just really sophisticated messaging? You know, some strategic posturing to create the perception of superiority, while the actual tech is still years and years away from being ready for a real fight. Ultimately, whether China's laser fighter is a true paradigm shift or if it's just a bluff, it's all going to come down to whether they can turn these really bold claims into an actual battlefield reality. 
And that leaves us with a massive question mark hanging over the entire future of air power. 